JTBC CEO Sun s o k i was all over the news once again, but this time by being scammed by a sex offender. Sun is a former anchor of JTBC who apologized for reporting false news about BTS and b i g o t Entertainment. Last year in December, he stepped down from his anchor position and decided to only take the role of CEO. Then on March 25th, JTBC confirmed that Sun was approached by the controversial Telegram and r i n perpetrator Cho j u b i n has been revealed to have sent death threats to Sun. And his family. According to an exclusive report from Media Today, Jo pretended to have been given the order of Ki Mung, a freelance journalist who was in legal dispute with President Son over a car accident, and presented the manipulated contents of the telegram text as an evidence. Jo has continuously threatened Son by sending pictures of his family members with their personal information included. Due to this threat, Sun s o k i even paid Jo to secure evidence, but Jo was arrested after being subdued without providing the required evidence. Jo is currently suspected of blackmailing dozens of victims, including minors, into performing violence exacts and selling the videos in mobile chat rooms. On Wednesday, he made an appearance in front of the public and apologized. Sun s o k i 사장님, Yun Jang Hyun 시장님, Kim Hong 기자님을 비롯해 저에게 피해를 입은 모든 분들께 진심으로. Police have stated that the three men mentioned by Cho Jubin are not related in any way to the telegram and r u n e s but they are believed to be fraud victims instead. Korean netizens were shocked by the news and called it ridiculous since it is not the first time for the trusted former anchor to be involved in an unpleasant news. Last year in December, JTBC's newsroom, led by Sun at the time, reported that BTS was considering taking legal actions against their agency, b i g o t Entertainment, for issues related to profit division. But b i g o t Entertainment immediately released an official statement refuting the issues claimed in the report and requested an apology from JTBC for violating journalistic code of conduct. As a response, Sun apologized on air for the false report. Sun ultimately stepped down from his position as an anchor on Newsroom. Meanwhile, police are looking more into separate fraud cases involving Joe.